you know, I looked at the title of this before I started recording it, and it fits all the other devotionals that I've been sharing this morning and reading and caring to participate with you in by developing and listening to what God would share with us in our morning devotions, as I seem to be doing other things too. But it talked about a deep sorrow, and you know, that's where I'm at today, you know, is I'm feeling this great sorrow, this great weight of sadness for, in reality, a person that, not the person themselves, but the circumstances of their life that has caused them that, irregardless of what is shared or what is they're relating that they completely reject unless they can logically present to themselves some type of format for God that they can put God in a box and then examine it and prove to themselves what they want from God otherwise they seem to be completely rejecting the whole idea that God is at work in them that God wants to talk to them that God could be personal and that Jesus could be real in their life. Because you see, it's hard at times when you want just a mental assertion by some logical means. And that can be presented, but will that convince you? Because you see, there is intelligent faith and I have no problem presenting an entire logical presentation and dissertation that could probably last for days and we could go on and on and on, you know, and get into the logistics of the reality of how God exists and how he works in a person's life and how he's able to completely identify in reality the theological presentation that he has in his word so that even the intellectual would not be without excuse but would have a purposeful and planned dissertation that God could use in order to present for himself the logistics of how he is able to apply to the logic and the mind the capability of knowing him even in the intellect but the fact is would a person then know God no they would know that he has presented the material to know him but the reality of the experience has to participate with the knowledge of the scripture there has to be a connection somewhere and really emotional is all about that sharing with you how it connects for you today in your life and that if it works good that's God speaking if it doesn't work don't do it throw this all away don't pay attention to me go off on your way you know and seek some other way but the reality of God using the circumstance as well as the scripture to fit completely in a cohesive way that you can identify and see in your life is the is the process of him beginning to come to you in a personal way and then he wants you to pursue it more so so that you can <clears throat> literally walk and talk with God daily and the sorrow that I feel is this person has all the knowledge and none of the experience they have all the wisdom but none of the reality and they choose to take that wisdom and to reject the interpersonal relationship that a living God wants to have with that person and so today if it seems that I'm not wired and inspired and all up it's because the sorrow that I feel for that person when they could know so much more have you ever been expressionless with sorrow and when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. Luke 18, 23. The rich young ruler went away expressionless with sorrow. He had not a word to say. He had no doubt as to what Jesus said, no debate as to what it meant, and it produced in him a sorrow that had not any words. Have you ever been there? Has God's word come to you about something you are very rich in, rich in temperament? Rich in attitude, rich in personal affinity, rich in relationship of heart and mind, rich in riches? <laughs> then you have often been expressionless with sorrow. The Lord will not go after you. He will not plead, but every time he meets you on that point, he will simply repeat, if you mean what you say, those are the conditions. In other words, what Jesus said, he told you to do. Sell all that you have, 
Undress yourself morally before God of everything that might be a possession until you are a mere conscious human being and then give God that. That is where the battle is fought. In the domain of the will before God. Your will versus His will. For He would have all of you or none of you. Are you more devoted to your idea of what Jesus wants than to Himself? If so, you are likely to hear one of His hard sayings that will produce sorrow in you. What Jesus says is hard. It is only easy when it is heard by those who have His disposition. Beware of allowing anything to soften a hard word of Jesus Christ. I can be so rich in poverty or so rich in consciousness that I am nobody, that I shall never be a disciple of Jesus, and I can be so rich in consciousness that I am somebody that I shall never be a disciple. Am I willing to be destitute of the sense that I am destitute? This is where discouragement comes in. Discouragement is disenchanted self-love, and self-love may be love of my devotion to Jesus. It's not so much so the sorrow I feel for the reality that God cannot still work in that person's life, but rather it is the reality of the sorrow that I feel that the person doesn't know Jesus yet and is but that close to just reach out and touch the living God who wants to reach down and be with the heart of the person who has so much and yet is not willing to take God at his word, but wants to discern or determine what his word is without him being involved in it. How sad it would be to be all the way to the place of knowing all about God and not know God. Today I pray that we would be like that. Forget what you might want or think you know, but rather grow to know Jesus more and to know the logistics less, but to be comforted by Him completely and to be in personal relationship with Him solely so that all that you are is always devoted to hearing Him and knowing Him in the most intimate and personal way you can today as He works with you and in you to cause you to come to a complete knowledge of Himself. It's not a knowledge of the Scriptures, it's a knowledge of who He is. And that's what all of Scripture points to, a personal relationship with Him.